Welcome back to Tiny Zoo. I do hope you're well today. Thank you very much for tuning in. And our, in our last episode, we were over here putting in our African wild dogs. And I did promise that I would finally get to work in this gap over here. And I don't like to break a promise, so that is what we are doing. And as you can see in here already are our pair of Chinese pangolin. Look at these little things. They're crazy looking animals. You kind of want to stroke him, but then you look at his scales and you think, ooh, he's like a dinosaur. So yeah, I like them. I think they're cute. And they're small, which is what I wanted. I wanted something in here quite small. Um, that was my idea. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty pleased with what I've got in mind. Um, it, it, it's going to be nothing like it looks now, to be honest. Um, so the basics of, of what I've got here, obviously, the barrier itself will change. That's just temporary for now. Um, quite a small enclosure. They don't need, as you can see, they don't need a lot of space. I don't know what the game thinks, but yeah, see, the game thinks they've just about got enough. Um, so I put this uh, small bit of water in, so they, they do like a swim. So that's uh, that's there for them. I liked the idea of having a, a bit of a raised platform for them so I've, I've done that um, with, a, with a few ways on and off. I played with the terrain because they're such small animals you can make quite small terrain changes and it makes quite a big difference to them you know climbing up and down these little slopes. Um, I'm gonna have a cave I, I decided in here so that might be a bit tricky so I need to sink this down in here make sure they can get down into it and that's where their bed will be and then there'll probably be rock around the top I think I won't try and do it all with terrain I think I'll just build a, a rock roof over the top here so a, a lot of this area will be covered up with rocks I think um, but my main aim with this enclosure actually is a bit of theming a bit more theming than I've been doing before oh look at him rolling around on his back tickling his own tummy that was adorable I wish I'd seen that a bit closer <laughs> the animation on them is really nice really really cute so yeah sorry because they're Chinese pangolin I'm gonna make this a bit of a Chinese themed enclosure uh, so that will be the habitat it will be some background stuff along here I think um, I'm quite glad that I've got this nice wall here because I can decorate that and because I've got this overhanging roof I could put some nice columns I think down the edge of the roof here some sort of Chinese looking columns um, got a bit of an idea of what I might do with a pathway along the front here as well So yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. I don't want it to be cheesy, but I do want it to be themed um, So we'll see what I can come up with So let me go away and uh, I'll be back in a minute with a bit more done Okay, look out cheese alert cheese alert <laughs> I know I said I didn't want it to be cheesy uh, But maybe just a little bit of cheese isn't such a bad thing um, I've gone a bit bananas with this Chinesey looking stuff. Uh, these 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 sort of wooden flat decorations. Um, I, I love these. I think they look fantastic and they look very Chinesey. So what have I done? I've made the barrier out of them. Uh, I do. I just need to fiddle with it. Actually, it's not quite aligned properly just in the corners here yet. Uh, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's not that realistic. I think the animals could probably jump through this gap in the middle here um, But I, I kind of like it so I might I might leave it um, Obviously the, the barrier at the back is gone. So I've extended it right up to the wood of this building I thought that worked well um, And I've gone with these large round ones on the back. I think they just look great back there I'm really really happy with the look of that uh, like I said I've done these pillars so these are really simple they're just two pieces just a column and then this bit turned on the top uh, but again they look really Chinesey and um, so four of those along there uh, just put some steps here down into the water uh, again I you know I, I you see this a lot um, in in any habitat that has um, water in you'll often see these sort of fake stone steps going in and out either that or a slope um, just gives the animals options of whether they want to walk directly in or if they just want to sort of dip their feet in on a step or whatever um, I needed to encourage them luckily as you can see it does work to encourage them to use these wooden platforms because they weren't really using them so what I did um, I did what I said I built this small cave here so you can see there is uh, oh look one of them is in fact sleeping so this is a little bed area down underneath here 
um, and to get them to actually come up on the top I had to put one of these food things uh, up on here these slow feeders um, so yeah so that and that works they do come up on here now I've also put one of their termite mounds in the back I didn't want it right back there I wanted it up here somewhere but it actually wouldn't let me put it in here and I really don't know why um, there's so much room here and it just wouldn't let me put it in whether it's too close to the entrance I don't know but it shouldn't be um, it may have been because of the water maybe it has had to change the landscape a little bit here it's a bit bumpy so maybe it needed to do landscaping and it was going to upset the water but uh, I don't know I, it, either way it ended up coming back in this corner which is fine because obviously people coming around this side here uh, have got something to look at and it means the animals are likely to come into this back corner and actually uh, walk around back here so that, I don't mind it it's not not the end of the world um, and then I did this path so this is just a simple tarmac path along under here and then I've just used these corner decorations made into a square and then just duplicated and I've pushed them f as flat as I can into the ground so they're not too much of a tripping hazard uh, so again it's not ideal I think in real life it wouldn't work it would be a completely flat um, sort of just painted on pattern but obviously we can't do that in the game so that's what I've come up with and that definitely looks Chinese yeah, I really like the red and the black together it looks really nice um, so yeah pretty pleased with uh, with how that's looking um, yeah so there we go so that's what we're up to so I've got lots more to do lots of foliage and stuff um, so I will go away now and crack on with that well then I think I'm done now with our Chinese pangolin habitat so what have I done I, I chose to go with these lovely pink trees um, I always forget that. the cherry blossom trees of course they look very Chinese um, China more Japan actually they have um, they're well known for their cherry blossom trees they have a an event once a year where all their 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 trees blossom at the same time and it's absolutely spectacular thousands of these trees all over the country um, looks really nice so yes yeah, so I've gone with a couple of those I've also decorated with some shrubs as I uh, do in all my enclosures again just dotting them around you know creating little areas where the the creatures can hide um, but also making it um, possible to see um, through them and into the habitat to see the animals uh, I don't actually know where they are. I think they must be sleeping. No, they're not sleeping. Blimey, they've just dis disappeared. Where are they? Mm. Oh, there's one. Rolling around on his back again. Um, where's the other one? Should we go on a little Chinese pangolin hunt? Where are you? No. Are you... Are you oh there you are you're down in there now okay that's cool that's a bit of fun isn't it I'm trying to find your animals <laughs> um, so yeah so that's um, that's where we are um, uh, so the shop is done I've also just added some extra bits of enrichment in there um, some toys and little scent things I've got a rubbing post there a box up on the top here as well uh, put some more drainage uh, down the side here I thought uh, that made sense in this area and um, a small uh, media board just there and another one on there and that is I think that's going to be it I think I'm pretty happy with how this looks uh, I think this is a lovely little habitat for these creatures I think they uh, I think they'd be more than happy in here I think it's spacious but at the same time it's got plenty of little uh, little areas where they can get away from people and hide if they want to uh, it's got a bit of everything in there it's got uh, it's got some nice water and it's got some some nice shelter down in here you've got exposed areas up here where they could lie in the sunshine if they wanted to so yeah on the whole uh, very happy with how that's turned out and it definitely looks Chinesey doesn't it that was my aim I wanted it Chinesey uh, but not too cheesy so hopefully you agree that it's not too over the top um, so yeah I, I, I like my use of this as a barrier as well um, it's different it's 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 not realistic I'm, I'll be honest with that it certainly wouldn't look like this in a zoo but I think for the purposes of this zoo I'm going to accept it and move on <laughs>
So there we go. Uh, right, so that, that's, our, that's our Chinese pangolins done. Um, so let's just get a little overview of the zoo. I think it's coming together really nicely. I think it's, I'm managing to stick with my theme of keeping everything relatively compact. Um, I mean, we've got quite a few animals in here now. How many have we got? Should we have a count? Let's go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not bad. Twelve animals in a small area like that. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that's. Uh, it's a good number and it's it looks really nice i've got a really nice mix of uh, different building types different um different foliage around there's you know as an aerial shot i think you get, you really do get a nice sense of the uh, the shape of the zoo uh, and how people would be moving around it as well with the pathways so yeah really happy with how this zoo is coming along uh, let me know what you think uh, whether you agree with me that it's um it's coming together well as a little zoo um, if you've got any ideas or thoughts, please do let me know. Um, but for now, uh, let's just end with our little Chinese pangolin. If I can find them, because uh, they do like to hide. There we go. Let's focus in on this one. Right, so for now, that is going to be goodbye, just as our little pangolin has a poop. That's lovely, isn't it? Hey, we all poop. It's all, it's all right. We all do it. It's fine. Um, okay, so until next time, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.